Hi guys, uh, real life talk. I wanted to talk about uh, a scenario and it is a magic YouTube channel. And I get a lot of questions about is, you know, should I make a magic YouTube channel? Do you make money from making magic YouTube? So I'm not gonna disclose the um, exact numbers, but I will say that from ad revenue, which is all I really receive. The Patreons, again, I've said, I've said this many times, I don't make money from Patreon. And I don't know when this video is coming up, but I'm actually giving away like in a vintage like fat pack or box. Um, I always try to make sure the value is there for my Patreons, that they're not like just like throwing money into the wind, right? And hoping for the best outcome. Uh, anyway, back to my point. Uh, do you make money, enough money to fund your YouTube channel? And I personally do. So I personally make, um, Outside of being paid and you know all that stuff like you know buying product, opening product, I assume that I would do that anyway. Um, so I'm not going to count that all the product I buy. It is a profitable place. It is a profitable from just ad revenue, and I'm not part of any network. If I was part of a network, my ad revenue, according to said networks that proposed to me, um, would be anywhere between two to five times as much more money as I'm getting right now, which then would make it extremely profitable, I guess. But uh, I make enough money to cover pretty much some minor expenses of the channel. Uh, giveaways are completely covered by the money generated from ad revenue. And not only are giveaways, of any giveaway, so sometimes I hold multiple giveaways and they're all kind of covered as well as just random stuff I do in the channel. The artwork covers the artwork. I'm not gonna include the altars, but I will include like the channel art and stuff. That's all covered. Uh, so I can theoretically commission new artwork every single for the channel. And sometimes I do, actually, I do every single week or every single month. Now, are you gonna be able to make a living from having the number of subscribers I do Again, subscriber numbers don't really matter for ad revenue, but they will matter for Patreon. I'll go into that. I've seen a trend where people do make a lot of money from YouTube, not in this field, but in other fields. And they do so via Patreon, some combination of Patreon and YouTube ad revenue, uh, normally a network of some type. So, you know, it, is it possible to live off YouTube money? I think it could be. From what I can tell, so if I had, let's say six times as many subscribers, I had over 100,000 subscribers, um, I had a similar Patreon to Tolarian Community College, and again, this is all hypothetical, then you should theoretically be able to make enough money with those two combined to live off magic. Now, would it be on YouTube? Now, would it be the most stable job? No would be a job that I would be like, oh, I'm gonna quit my day job and do. Probably not, for me personally, no. Uh, but you, if you're in college, if you are in high school, give it a go, because who knows, you might be able to do it. I think the numbers are good enough from what I've seen and what I know from my marketing side that you need to reach about 100,000 subscribers, you need a Patreon to pay you between two to $4,000 a month, and that should be enough. Uh, the way I do Patreon is not the way that like you would be doing Patreon. I you would have you know just be like, hey, donate money to my, me for extra videos and stuff. So you would just be producing more content for money instead of like giving like buying fat packs and boxes and giving them away. And I think it's possible. I think it really is possible given what I've seen from my ad revenue, what I've seen for clients' ad revenues, as well as uh, a Patreon support. Uh, so let's say you get. 4K from Patreon, you get another, again, I'm basing these numbers on what I know. So like, let's say, I think you can get 4K from YouTube. Um, maybe not, let's say 2K from YouTube a month. So you get 6K times 12, that's 72K a month, uh, uh, 72K a year from uh, Patreon as well as uh, YouTube ad revenue in addition to maybe being sponsored and branded let's throw another let's throw another like f that part I don't really know so I'm just gonna throw another $500 to it every month so you would get 
$6,500 every month. That would be $78,000 a year, which is pretty good. That is definitely a very good salary for, um, for anyone. So is it possible? Yes, definitely possible. Would I love to see someone do it? Yeah. Is it gonna be me? No, <laughs> no. I would love to see someone go to YouTube, do it full time and make a living from it because then that would, set, that would set the standard. Um, you know, that would set the standard uh, of this community. I think it would be fantastic. I think it would be the greatest thing ever. Uh, if you had more, you had one or you had multiple, or you had a lot of community members who were a full time magic YouTuber. How amazing would that be? That would be, in my opinion, uh, something quite incredible and something, oh, you could also get Twitch streaming. You could also make revenue that way. So combined from Twitch, Patreon, and YouTube, I think it's possible. I really do think it's possible for a person to make more than, let's say, forty or $50,000 a year and live from it and make a good, you know, make a good earning and have a good time and produce, you know, amazing content. I love the content that's being produced right now, but I would love to see someone um, be able to prove this model because I think that would be a huge step. Because once someone's been is able to go and say these numbers that I've told you and say I've done it, then more people will be inspired to do it. And then once more people do it, then you know the community will get better and better, and the quality of content will get better and better. I obviously would love. Um, there's no competition in between uh, YouTube channels. That's one of the things I've, I've always believed is if one channel gets bigger, then everyone gets bigger because there's, they're bringing more people to the community in general. So if the community is getting a lot bigger as a niche channel that sometimes does MTG Finance, some of those new members are going to be interested in MTG Finance. And I'm going to benefit from the creation of you know, growth, if you will. So we will see. I will be uh, extremely interested. I think 2016, we might see the first, you know, I, I would love in 2016 to see a video from a YouTube content creator uh, describing, you know, uh, just about how much they make from Patreon, how much they make from uh, Twitch, how much they make from, you know, selling magic. I don't know. Just saying that I can make a living from YouTube and Twitch and Patreon, I think that's something that us as a community can be proud of because the community has supported that person to that point. I think that would be excellent. Um, that would be pretty cool in my opinion. Anyway, bye guys.